Okay. Let's find out what Flon has got. I'll tell you what as well. Flon kicked one game. Uh, it was a couple of streams ago. I was playing Spain and he was playing Sweden. He kicked my ass. Like, I'm not even I'm not even joking as well. Like, he kicked my He's kicked my ass twice, actually. He rushed me the last stream as well. He, this guy's kicked my ass twice in a row. I'm not even joking. And as I was playing Spain, which is supposed to be a good counter to Sweden. So, bruh. Yeah. A little bit embarrassing. So this guy, this guy's, you know, good players. He's not got that many games. So he's obviously a smurf. So uh, I'm going to start the conspiracy. Oh, yeah. I'm going to start a conspiracy that this is Aussie Jongo. Alaska Airlines just subscribed. Sup, sup. Sup, Alaska. How you doing, man? Thank you very much. Seven months, you utter mega legend. Thank you very much for your dedication, your devotion to the stream. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to start the conspiracy that this is Aussie Drongo. Def not Drongo. Don't ruin the conspiracy animus. All right. That's why it's a conspiracy. Hiya. So we've got Aussie Drongo versus Ungus. Ungus playing with Malta. Good to see because you don't see Malta very often. And honestly, just Malta just have too many... Malta have too many glaring weaknesses. I honestly think Malta are, you know, one of the worst sieves in the game. Unfortunately, regardless of what the some top players will have have you believe, I think they just get beat by too many basic rushes. And Malta are a high ceiling, uh, uh, sorry, a high ceiling sieve. Uh, uh, no, a high ceiling civilization. Wow, we, God. I finally said it. I finally got it right. Uh, what I mean by that is this, the, the skill ceiling for Malta is very high. Because it involves a lot of macro and micro early on, it's, the skill ceiling is very high. You have to do everything right. Whilst if you just play against an Ottoman fast fortress, bang, they just make Janissaries and send two Falconettes. And if they've got decent micro, it's very difficult to deal with. So... That's the that's one of the reasons why Malta are difficult because even the best players can make mistakes. You know, very easy to make mistakes. So, um, yeah. But you know, we'll see. We'll see what um, Ungers has up his sleeve here. I think if there's a civilization that Malta will do do well versus, it's it's Sweden because Sweden also not a very good not a very good ranked ladder. I mean, they're, they're a good Civ situationally, but they're not regarded as a top Civ at all. They're you no know, sort of bo bottom bottom 50% uh, of the Civs, tier list-wise. Unger's going to be picking up 100 food there. That's nice. Uh, let's go over and have a look at some of the decks. So I've seen this guy's deck twice now. Okay, so this is called Hacker. Looks like similar to the deck that he used against me. So he does have that new card, the March of the Hacker Pellets. Uh, which I tried using a little bit when this card got released um, a couple of months ago. And uh, I still don't feel like it's a very good card. It might have its uses against some sieves, but I still don't think it's a very good card. Who's Flon? Uh, Aussie Drongo. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Okay, let's go have a look over at Ungers. Basically aging up simultaneously these two it's gonna be very very tight between who ages up first classic hunting dog start but no tp start so we're not do we're not seeing the kevin tp and hunting dog start um i was just about to say what what start are we seeing right now and uh we're not seeing german tongue so actually unger's going for the rush here and i'll be perfectly honest i'll be perfectly honest People seem to forget, right? Does anyone remember that Kaiser Klein basically made it to rank one? If it wasn't for Revnak abusing Italy and just point sitting like the piece POS that he is, um, Kaiser Klein would have been rank one. And he did it. He did it on a Smurf account exclusively doing the Malta rush. <laughs> did, did people forget about that? Uh, uh, you know, that was the most hilarious thing ever. And no one knew who this randomly, random, you know, rank one player was. Uh, people, people were guessing all sorts. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so essentially what we're seeing here is uh, the quartermaster age up. Don't forget, hospitals only cost a hundred wood, which is kind of insane, considering they are a barracks and a hospital. And uh, so by rushing like this, you are utilizing 
uh, uh, one of Malta's biggest oh, wow. bonuses in the game. Very cheap barracks, and they can heal units for free. So really, really, you know, using the... Uh, and again, people seem to just take that for granted. People, people don't talk about those hospitals enough being really, really good. Uh, so first shipment was 700 wood. Probably going to see 600 wood next as well on top of this. Uh, unfortunately lost one expo there, which was a shame before he started hitting the the villagers, which means uh, nine expos isn't going to kill him one. So that was really unfortunate. He's going to kill a villager here, but two lever cannons getting shipped ASAP. And oh, he's diving in, but that's not good. TC fire, outpost fire, and he's diving in. And there goes 10 crossbows just like that. Loses a one or two up here as well on top of that. But he has forced, he has forced two early lever cannons. Oh, sort of a nice dodge there. Only the air of effect damage from these um, affecting the crossbows there. Uh, one lever cannon is basically half HP now as well. So with a decent mass of crossbows and maybe even a snare from the hero, but that goes down. And now Pikes can dive in here because, oh, he's pull tricking. He's pull tricking the levers. Look, very, very clever. Look at this pull trick. These guys, they're supposed to only have free speed, but he's giving them five speed right now. <laughs> Love it, but the pipemen do connect. And now are the pipemen going to survive long enough? Oh, they're not. The crossbows are going to try and finish the job. Oh my god, this micro is genius by this Aussie Drongo here. Oh, he managed. After all of that, he only takes down one lever cannon and a couple of hazards. Wow. That was that was some next level micro there. And now Ungers has essentially, essentially gone all in here. 700 wood, 600 wood. No eco card ship just yet. Now he has to decide whether he goes for Wigner Core or if he just continues on with uh, more units. And this whole time, Flon, what was he doing behind this? So I did see early, a very early um, Torp Wagon shipment. So Dominions, that's the word. So he went for Dominions into two lever cannons. And oh my God, please, you've got, you've got to, sh you've got to kill this now. Where are these pipemen going? You're going to find some more Torps. Oh my god, this one lever cannon is going to do work, especially Micron with three hazards. Now he's raiding as well. Three pikemen do go back to base. This lever cannon, that two, those two lever cannons, that was just some insane micro. He's going to try and flank with some crossbows. Oh, but Ungers, this is not looking good, is it, boy? This is not looking good. Oh, now he's, now he's going back to the hazards. Oh, and he's, is he going to be able to take down the, the Hazard snare and the, the bows now? Finally! It goes down. But at what cost? And now all those crossbows going down. Oh, my God. This guy. This guy. In some insane mic who doesn't even kill the Explorer here. And Unger's wishing he went for the boom instead of the rush. But there's only 1k score difference in it right now. Looks like all of the Hazards do go down up there. Maybe more Hazard's going to go down. Picks up one crossbow. Still going for pure Hazard's. Could be an opportunity here for him now to uh, uh, use this card, the March of the Hacker Pellets. Um, which would do well versus... They can micro Pikeman. Uh, and they, they, as a cavalry unit, would do well versus crossbows in melee as well. So might be some uh, room for him to do that. He's making some Carolians now. He's on a decent amount of torques as well on top of this. Wow, he's, he's managed to sneak in ironworks as well. So these torps are really effective right now. They're 0.54 coin and 0.72 food. That 72 food is a bit high. I was just about to say, yeah, it should be 0.3. Okay, Caroline's coming in now. Essentially, Musk Huss. This is a close game. This is, uh, wow. Wow. We, I pray there's gonna be some pipemen coming. Because if there's not, I don't want to look. Oh, eight crossbows coming in from the home city. They needed to be pipemen. Oh, but pipemen are gonna pop. Boom! Is that gonna be enough to save it though? It's only five Carolians. Oh! He just about gets keeps himself in the game there. 
but he did lose a decent amount of crossbows. Oh, he shipped the artillery foundry. Yeah, that ships one leather cannon as well. <laughs> so no march of the hacker pellets. He's decided to go for the artillery foundry, which I think is the safest option as well. Wow, look at that shot. How far was that shot? Jesus Christ. More hazards coming in. And with this one lever cannon, even one lever cannon does really, really well. Kills a crossbow in one shot. And the pipeman. Oh, maybe, maybe they don't actually. No, they actually don't kill a pipeman in one shot. Not now that they've got that extra uh, plus two of HP. So actually, pipemen don't die to one shot of a lever cannon. Interesting. Now he's shipping in the, the trip to Jerusalem card, and it's going to give him almost 1,200 resources straight into the bank. Thank you very much. And is he going to continue to make units, or is he going to decide to age up with that? Uh, would probably be a good idea to start making some hazards himself. Really nice spread of the torps up here as well, like even one all the way up here. Yeah, whenever you see torps getting seized like that, it does just mean that gonna, there's going to be a counter push, which I think there will be. Oui. Not sure why they only... Oh, okay, it's 2%. Right, I get it. I get it. Unger's picking up 40 food over here. Just, just keeping himself busy. Got an extra lever cannon added to the armory here, so it's up to two lever cannons, which is pretty nice. Hungers is aging up. Oh, don't want to be taking any pot shots against levers. With, uh, crossbows in a, in, a, in a big mass do well. You know, any light infantry in a big mass will do well with um, early lever cannons. Uh, but you've got you've got to have a big amount, otherwise lever cannons will be wrecked. Okay, so like I said, hospitals only cost 100 wood each, so it's very, you know, it's 200 wood, yet like he is, it's 200 wood just to rebuild that stuff. It's, it's very, very simple. And uh, Unger's just doing doing enough here just to try and, you know, weaken this this army here. Very, very nice micro there. The lever cannon not been able to get a pot shot. Uh, he took down a few torps here as well, so making use of the army that he has. Uh, he's down 2k score though, he's on 33 vils. Managed to squeeze hospitality, and you saw there it got the perfect amount of use out of it. Question is, was that worth sending when he was already halfway aged up? Uh, I mean, it does make these very cheap, so 50, uh, 50 wood and 50 coin. Um, but he doesn't have another shipment to send. He doesn't have another shipment to send. They don't get the two Falconet shipment, um, but veteran Pike and veteran uh, Crossbowman going to be pretty good here. Oh, but that's going to be a juicy raid. But Unger sees it fast. So maybe only one or two villagers going to go down there. Carolian's coming in from the rear as well. But he's going to leave the lever cannons exposed. He split his army, but is he split too much? Bang, the veterans is going to come in for the pipemen and the crossbows at the perfect time here. Has access to Minutemen. They're coming in. Saw some pipemen go down. Where are they? Crossbows going. And I think, honestly, with these pipemen, you just dive those crossbows in. TC Fire doing some damage. Looked like the TC Fire actually killed one of the lever cannons there. That was free. Yeah, I don't think two lever cannons is going to be enough to do enough damage here before... Yeah, look. And there's not going to be any pull trick going on here. No funny business. And, uh, yeah. Veteran crossbows going to do the job. Leather cannons don't now kill a crossbowman in one hit. So uh, that's one thing to note. Unger's still double pumping. Unger's not out of this yet. And look at the score. Neck and neck. Unger's actually edging in front of Flon for the first time, I think, in the game. And look, we look over at Flon. And I was just about to say, are we going to see an age up from Flon? We are. Uh, Flon, I apologize. Ozzy Drongo. Ozzy Drongo now aged up. And can Jongo, what is he going to do? We're going to see a classic shake build here. Musk Falk. 
Of course, I'm not going to put my, myself in that category. I'm above that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a musk fout connoisseur. <laughs> Look at the scores. 52 score difference there at that moment in time. This is super close. And Flon, Aussie Drongo, probably made the mistake there of pushing in whilst he's aging up. Just got a little bit too overconfident. Scores are so close right now. Only the one Falconet coming in right now. Doesn't have another shipment. Ready? 20 Carolians. Okay. Hello. Gonna snare these explorers, but he probably won't kill any before he sees this Falconet diving in. And now he's in, a, in, a, in an awkward position where we can see a dive from the Carolians, which have just got veteran C. Could put the pikemen on guard stance and just soak up some damage. But yeah, he's just going in the crossfire now. He's going to do some pull trick, get these guys a jog on. And that definitely saves a few crossbows there. Could have seen a dive from the... Um, I'm surprised we didn't see a dive there. But the big button, the Carolean charge, because that would have cut off the pikemen. And uh, even, even against the pikemen, they would have done a good job of, uh, of meleeing. Okay, a couple of Falconets now for Ungers, and this is really strong for uh, Malta because don't forget the artillery get affected by the bonus of the plus two percent. I think it's for artillery, it's only one percent, and two Falconet shots from um, his opponent from Ozzy Drongo won't actually kill a Falconet in two shots. So that's one thing to note, and that's what that's one of the main reasons Malta don't get two Falconets because it would just be way too OP because uh, two two Falconets wouldn't kill them in one hit, uh, which is which has always been the balance, you know, of the of the the bot FFs in this game, the two Falcs versus two Falc War. Okay, Flon going for a culverin. Wow, a couple more, couple more Falcs here from Ungers. Ozzy Drongo trying to get a QP settlement there as well. Not sure what he wants that for. Would be actually be worth um, Ungers getting the 2P settlement because I believe there's a tech from there which improves the attack of uh, crossbow type units or archer type units rather. Score still looking good for Flon. He's not on max torps, but he's not far off it either. He shipped. He has shipped blueberries as well, so his torps are you know pretty much max gathering. And he's, I, I, he's a really, he's a very competent Swedish player because, you know, he's not five torping these silver mines. Like we've got two over here. We've got three over here. Just, an, again, another three over here, two here. So they're going to last a very long time. So it's a really, really nice play. And it's, it's quite a good map as well for Sweden in the sense of the gold mines are very far apart from each other. It's a very wide map. So it's very difficult to transcend the map with uh, military units. Lots of food here, so probably want to start teching into leather cannons. Um, I don't know why he doesn't have the leather cannon card in H3, which I still don't know why because it's it's still one of the best cards in the game. Like leather cannons, veteran uh, guard, sorry guard tech, guard leather cannons are just so good, so so good. Okay, four Falconets and two Culverins with Bow Pipe. Probably got about four um, hotkey groups. Nice raid here. Uh, don't see any Pipemen. They're coming in, but it's going to lose a few villagers. So nice raiding there by Ozzy Drongo. Ooh, three Culverins, though, for Ozzy Drongo. So he's going to be forced to back up Ungers. These Culverins have 306 HP compared to 280. I'm not sure if that, if that affects the balance in like a certain amount of hits. If it does, god damn, that's OP. But three Colvins regardless would be enough. Another Colvin coming in for Ungers. Lots of uh, resources for Sweden. Hazards are veterancy. 
Oh, but look at this. Look at this. Could be flushing out the artillery. Oh! And that Colvin did a big shot there. And Ungers, he's got so many units. They're all bouncing around each other. And the Hazars are causing an awful snare as well. This is fantastic micro by Ozzy Drongo. He was never this good before he left. Oh, fantastic. But but are the pipemen going to be there too? Okay, no. These Carolines aren't too far behind. And really, really nice micro there by Sweden. Just, just the Hazars, the Hazars, regardless of the pipemen, were just causing... You know, uh, you know the, the the units just keep bouncing into each other, and uh, that's always awkward with artillery because artillery unpacked are just just so clumsy. They have such a big hitbox, and that was causing them to fall back and slow down and just allow these guys to just come up from the rear. That's what she said. Nice. Ungers does have this 2B settlement, and I think that's the one I was talking about. Yeah. So Archer, all all access damage, ten percent. So uh, the 2P poison arrow frogs is uh, the tech I was talking about. So it looks like Ungers is preparing to get that. Nice. I do see that Ungers, who is on 48 bills compared to 48 bills. So they are both on the same villagers, but Sweden do have torps on top of that. However, Malta's units are stronger because of their 2% bonus. So that's, you know, that is one thing to note. He's also got steel bolts and archaic sounds of combat. So... His his pike his his skirm, sorry his um, bow pike is just so damn strong right now. But oh look at this raiding, really nice raiding by Sweden. He's very very susceptible to raids right now. He doesn't have any towers down or anything. And honestly, probably Ungus could just dive in his base here. Ungers is really having to have high APM here. Just constantly moving pikemen around. He's got four, four control groups here. You know, that's not easy. That is not easy. Wow, now getting the attack for bows as well. I mean, imagine he's shipping archaic soldier attack as opposed to one of these 1K resource cards or even opposed to refrigeration. Uh, that's actually surprising. So I think the, uh, the 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 bows are they're strong enough, honestly. Two multi versus heavy infantry. Pikeman doing a good job sieging some torps though. Oh, having to send more pikemen down here. <laughs> These pikemen almost have 200 HP. Look at the scores for Ozzy Drongo. Holy cow. He is killing it now. I'm actually surprised. Um, oh, a load of hacker pellets coming in now. The question is, as long as Ungus can deal with the artillery, um, how's, how's he going to kill this bow mass? Like, How's he going to kill these bows? He's going to need a lot of cav, I think. We've got a big passy in chat now. <laughs> Drongo is really strong. And look at this. Oh! Oh, no. Flon sees it. Ozzy Drongo with the nasty. And that is a lot of villagers going down there. Oh, no. Unger's not like this. 8k score down now. Trying, it looks like he was trying to build a tower there as well, an outpost. Oh, getting raided again. This guy knows his stuff, and Ungus just dive in, bruh. Just, just go for the base trade, surely. Surely you try and base trade here. And he's still, even after all these torps getting sieged down, he's just replacing the torps straight away. But the gold mines are running out now. He is running out of silver mines. And when those when those mines dry up, those torps are just going to be producing food. Really, he's going to need to ship blackberries at some point as well, which doesn't look like he has. Blueberries are starting to run out. Coal versus coals. The hackers are trying to kill, but these pipemen do so much damage. No, unpack. No. Oh, the coalmen are getting really awkward here. 
And like I said, he just needs to clean up the artillery factor. And if he can, this is cracking micro from Ungers here. And like I said, the score lead is pretty insane right now for Ozzy Jongo. But how is he going to deal with this army? These bows are just, just on steroids. They're on Psalms. They're Super Saiyan. Even Carolians, if they get a good charge, I'm not sure can deal with it. Has Unger's gone for the tech yet? He has. He's got that extra native tech as well. So these guys just absolutely insane. Still raiding with Hazars around the map. 34 vils for Unger's. He's trying to get a second TC down. That's not the best place TC, I have to admit. Want a TC over here desperately. He's building one here though as well. He's got so much wood by the looks of it. Flon on 57 villagers, floating a lot of wood. Does he have the church card? He doesn't. I always like shipping the church card when I'm floating lots of wood. Oh, he's building with villagers now. Nice. But Flon might see that. Oh, he doesn't. Now he's diving in the base. Finally, we get what we want. Oh, but two back that's coming. Is he going to take at least one down? Nice. He takes one down before. The pull trick again. Ozzy Jongo with that pull trick. Really, really effective. And nice. Look at that pull. And there's ours. The pellets coming in. Minimen coming in. Are oh, we going to see a Carolean charge? One Falcon at the back as well. He wants to stay well away from that. Oh, he's, he's hitting villagers. Can he kill the Hazars? Oh, these guys do so much damage, even against Hazars. Nice. Oh, they basically kill a Hazar in one. Oh, he's shooting a villager there. You don't want to be shooting the villagers. You definitely don't want to be shooting the villagers. Paper cartridge and all sorts coming in. Okay, it's going to take two shots to kill a Hazar now. There's only two of them left. Focus on the Hazars once you do. Oh no, you're taking the wrong one. I think the Carolines are just too close now and they managed to wilt down the crossbows just enough. These hackers that only have 20% range of this. They're in melee now as well. And like I said, these guys have a pretty high hand attack and uh, they do well versus skirmisher type units. What we got going on over here? We've got a Falcon that's blasting some crossbows. Still managed to keep some bows alive. Wow, that was impressive. Torps going down. Now, this is the pretty much the last mine left. There's one here left here with 500 resources to go. Oh, but yes, very nice. Nice timing. He's now shipped three Perspector wagons. Perfect timing. Three TCs now, though, for Ungers. This is a matchup. He's almost down 10k score. Really that bad. 58 bills for Drongo. 43 bills. Is that a 10k score deficit? Probably with the Torps. And Unger's trying to stay into this game, but he just had such a bad age too with those two lever cannons. Had such a bad time dealing with them. He's been playing catch up ever since. What's Unger's got left in the bag? He's got literally all four cards on his crossbow and pikes. So his crossbow pikes are so goddamn good right now. Even, even though they are that insane. Is it enough? Is it enough? Minutemen, more Minutemen coming in now thanks to that new TC. I think at this point you can just hit those bows, uh, hit that artillery, sorry, with the bows. Hazars raiding again. Oh, there should definitely be a TC over here that secures a load of food. Oh, wow, we've, got, we've even got a culverin mixed in here. Oh, we're seeing a load of Hazards come in. He's, he's triple racking some pikemen, but he's going to get there in time. I don't think it is. Run, crossbowmen, run! He wants to be repairing this as well. He's not repairing it. Mm, don't even fight. Don't even fight. Lose the ones that are being attacked. No, the snare. The pikemen come in. They're going to save maybe a few of them. Yes, just about in the nick of time. These pikemen have 224 HP. Wow. They have 12 hand attack and two ranged as well. <laughs> pikemen with range is hilarious. 
Crossbows have 186 HP. And now he's got a decent amount of villagers back and on the perfect macro that he wants as well. These guys do so much damage. 60 damage they do each hit to Hazards, but these Hazards are pretty tanky. 464 HP. He's gone for refrigeration. I think fixed gun wagon would be nice. Um, even even going for German tongue would be nice. Um, that's just not gonna. He's not gonna get anything out of that. Yeah, he just doesn't have any commanderies. Refrigeration's not a bad card though. I think uh, all things considered, there's still plenty of food uh, on the map. That Torp's having a whale of a time by himself over there. Oh, wow, he's got plus one wood as well. 58 vills, 57 vills. He's triple racked there, triple um, producing villagers. He knows, he knows there's food over here. Unger sees all of this. Wants to desperately get a commandery over here or an outpost or something. Nice, buying back his explorer. A couple of uh, Falcons coming in. I was just about to say, I think there's a spare culverin around here somewhere. Oh, look at that dodge. There was that culverin was nowhere near. Nowhere near. It was definitely uh, the guy's first day on the job there. Accuracy like that. Two Falcons. Two Falcons, not as scary as they used to be. Don't forget, their attack hasn't changed, whilst the crossbows and pikemen's HP has. Nice, just the one culprit, and that's to deter that. And like I said, he shipped the free, he shipped the prospector wagons, uh, but they're gonna run out at some point as well. Although he's got plenty of torps around there, so that's nice. He has shipped blackberries now as well. So I tell you what, he's got a load of infrastructure down as well. He's still looking really good. He's still looking really, really good. But Ungus doesn't need gold mines. He still has a gold mine over here and over here, but he doesn't need them. He doesn't need them like Sweden needs them. He just needs food and wood. Don't forget as well, um, Wigner Court Constructions is in play here as well. So look at these villagers. 1.51 food per second they're gathering there. And that's thanks to the refrigeration on top of all of it. Yeah, having an outpost here so um, all of this food benefits from uh, Wigner Court would be really, really big. Wow, rebuilding torps. So sneaky. Constantly using his, uh, his military units for, you know, being annoying, essentially. 67 Vils. Ungers has done a fantastic job. Getting himself back into this game. But the scores is still 11k deficit. Really? How? The second TC going down for Aussie Drongo. Flon's on 68 bills, so they're on very equal, even Stevens uh, type villagers. Oh, but look at this. Getting raided from both sides. Not giving Ungers a single break here. And he's down 11k score still, but his units are just so tough. That's where a lot of his score is. But look at the look at the resources right now, and he's basically on max torps again. Would would start to be worth putting torps on wood at this point. This can't be Drongo. Hey, don't let the conspiracy die. Okay, this is a conspiracy. Of course, it's not Aussie Drongo, but we're going to continue to say it is because. We can hope. What well, a man can hope, okay? A man can hope. Just let the man dream. Again, I was just about to say, these Carolines are going to go straight back again. Be super annoying. And this guy is just constantly keeping Ungers in check here. Still on herds as well. There's not a lot Ungers can do about that. Any push he makes will just get counter pushed. Oh, and look at this. Oh, the moment they get into melee. Ow! Ouch, Charlie. That. Oh.
Oh, God, there's another 5 6 village there. Hi, uh, and Unger's surely going to get really annoyed by all this. And surely at some point, <laughs> wow, he does ship German, German tongue on top of all of this. Surely now he just goes for it. Two Falconets unpacked. Surely you can clip them. He's going to let his Colvins do that work for him. They're going to give them the honor. Wow, some, some veteran pikemen here for Flon. What does Flon age up with? He's aging up with the Papal Guard. Uh, is that the one that gives the Dao Cold pikemen? Um, I can't remember. I think that must be right. Potentially, we get to see Dao Carl Pikeman here. There it is, Dao Carl Pikeman. And these things are pretty prop. I honestly think the most efficient. Wow, these Carolines being so annoying. Dao Carl Pikeman, I think, are the most efficient unit in the game, uh, cost wise. When that tech comes in, they will be 25 food and 25 wood. And guard tech. And look how cool they are. They've got their Sunday best on. Whoa, a couple of Colvin, a uh, couple of Falks coming in. Oh, wow, they didn't kill that Colvin there. Colvin, please wake up. Wake up, Colvin. Oh, he didn't even get a shot off. No, Ungers, that could have gone really good for you. He just sniped them. If he was just paying attention, he's getting raided here as well. Pikeman trying to go in against the Falconets. Oh, but the Falcon Falconets, he's going to get cleaned up now. And look at the scores. Is he going to decide it? Call it a day there. 75 vils for Aussie, 62. Uh, but he's got five of these. That's an extra five vils. So the village account is still pretty close. But I think with Dal Cal Pikeman, them Dally boys. Those Carls, we'll call them Carls. With Carl just massing Carls, just diving into his base, Carl is going to cause a massive problem. And Ungers calls it there. What a game. What a game. Ungers. I mean, it could have gone well. The couple of that, that diving at the end there. If those two Falconets got sniped sooner rather than later, he could have still survived long enough to do some damage here. Um, and then maybe take down the factory as well, but it just wasn't wasn't to be. And Unger's just playing catch up the entirety of the game after that terrible age two push at the start. Those two lever cannon, that two lever cannon micro was absolutely insane. And uh, Unger's did a oh, so oh, I'm not gonna lie, I was rooting for Unger's here, <laughs> which is a first. But Unger's even dropping in saying, "Well played, Unger's. What a game." What a crazy game. That was that was really good to see. Um, I feel like oh, there was just a... If, if maybe one of your TZs went over here, that could have been a game changer. Let's have a quick look at the resources. All four upgrade cards with the bows, though. Oh, look at that raid. That was the GG moment right there. Holy crap. But look at that with the three TZs. Almost got back up to the same amount. But yeah, just couldn't... couldn't couldn't keep up with the torps that game, but he had the he had the uh, the, the the military mass there, but just wasn't meant to be. GG. Uh, do, do we have any pikemen here from Ungers? I would like to compare um, the um, the 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 four upgraded cards or three upgraded cards, whatever it is. Um, Malta pikemen, age three pikemen compared to guard pikemen. Very very close stats actually. I think I think Ungers pikemen are actually stronger than guard tech. Um, Dow Carls, but yeah, GG.